right my loves this is today's Yankee candle nail day two um, so the candle name was spiced white cocoa and it smelled delicious it was like well it was like spiced white cocoa it almost had a mockery smell to it as well it was so beautiful and instantly I knew what I was going to do I don't plan in advance I literally sit there whip, whack the camera out open the Yankee candle and go bosh there's my nail first thing that sort of I can think of that represents what I'm smelling and seeing and reading off the name title so we are doing a French nail with a twist today I'm going in with sugar almond from glitter bells and um, I've kept everything in real time apart from I think some of the e-filing and stuff because obviously you know you don't want to watch all of it but I've tried to keep as much in I know people want to see the filing I find it a little bit difficult on the flexi finger not gonna lie because the nails aren't secure and I've got a camera in front of me so it's like in my again I'm gonna hit my head on it basically so I've placed the bead down, I've used quite a dry bead, I've placed it down, feathered it back just so we don't get a harsh line. And now I'm just nudging it into place. And I'm taking my time. Smile lines, I don't do that often, they're not my favourite thing, they make me nervous because I have a, a thing where I, I rush them and then don't realise that they're like a little bit wonky. So I'm that's my thing is take my time do the things that I'm uncomfortable with take my time and get it right so that's why I did it today I also have a cool collaboration coming up next year um, but I'll tell you more about that nearer the time because we want to keep it um, like a surprise it's going to be extremely challenging it's, um, so I've placed my second bead down at the cuticle and used that a bit wetter so that it blends nicely into the first bead and then I'm just using the very tip of my brush and that's why I like this Glitter Planet brush because it's pinched you can slide it up into the wings of that smile line and really kind of compact everything in nicely and then I'll simply, once I'm happy with that, I'll simply wait for it to cure and set hard so you know when it's set hard because you tap it and it goes like that if it doesn't, don't file it. And then I'm taking the 100 grit side of my file. So the 180 is smooth and the 100 is rough. Believe me, I did not know that when I first started doing nails. So somebody might be going, which side's which? That was me. I was one of those people. And I'm taking the file up against the edge and just basically perfecting the smile line. I do end up taking the um, nail out of the flexi finger and filing it because I couldn't really see what I was doing. It was quite funny. But I'm trying to show you, you know, the motion that I use to file it. So this is filed now and um, we're going to go in with Snowdrops White, I think it's called, from Glitter Bells. I've not used this white before. Um, I practiced with the beads ratio first and thought I had the ratio down, but when I actually got it on the nail it was quite sticky so I could have probably worked a bit drier. Whites are often sticky. Um, I think if you hate a sticky white, I mean the least sticky white I've used so far has been Trilogy, but I've got some more bits coming to try, so I'll be able to do comparisons and let you know. Um, but yes, I'm, I, I worked with it, it was just, I, maybe my ratio was off because I don't use white a lot, so, and, and whites are notoriously sticky anyway. I'm going to go over the line here. I could I could have done this nail two ways and I probably chose the hardest way because I just I didn't plan it. I just was like I'm inspired. I'm going to create something. So, um what I could have done is keep the white 
butt it up to the smile line but not over it and then apply the glitter and then cap the whole thing that's what I could have done but I decided to do it this way which probably took me a lot longer because I was thinking as I was going if you know what I mean so in this instance what I did was take the product right up into the wings right up over the sides of the nail not really minding if I made a mess because I was going to file it all off anyway I just wanted to make sure I'd got it right where I needed it and then as that white sets it becomes less sticky and I just start patting it into into the shape at the sides there so I don't want to while it's sticky I don't want to drag it and, and mess it up so I just was waiting a little bit And I'm just going to go in and make sure it's right up there in the wings because it was um, it's quite a deep smile line. So I'm just going to use my very thin edge of my brush to get right up in there. I did get a bit on the uh, flexi finger there, and I was like, ah, but it just comes straight off. Which is good. Sorry, Felicia. And again, I'm just checking I've got enough up in that wing. What I don't want to do is file it and then end up with sort of no product. If you've just got a thin amount of product there, by the time you filed, you could well end up with kind of like a, a nude spot or a bald spot where the product has just been filed away. So I'd rather have too much than not enough. It's like I know I built my nail bed too high but I would rather have too much than not enough you can see all the bits floating down in my brush so once that's set I go in with my e-file my e-file is from Femme Fatale Nails and the bit I'm using is I think it's like the four times extra coarse bit and it's got the round smooth top um, from Glitter Planet UK Oh, and the brush I'm using is my Aqua Brush from Glitter Planet UK. I do have a code for that. I'll put it all in the description box below. So I've taken the bulk off. That's what I was worried about, was just getting the bulky part off. I'll do the rest by hand. Again, I tried to show you the filing by hand. Um, but it was very difficult. I'm literally just taking the worst of the, the bulky bits off to save me the hand file in time. It's quite hard to get up in those wings as well. I need really need kind of like a cone, a flame bit maybe or something like that. I've heard they're very good. Okay, so we're gonna go in and tidy up those side walls. I did, again, I did end up taking the nail out off camera just perfecting it because it was it needed to be right and I really needed to be able to see what I was doing there it is okay the unicorns den glitter I'm using today is hollow copper chunky mix it's not chunky in comparison to a lot of chunkies I would call this like a multi mix and it's stunning so this is where you'll say she should have done it the other way I should have but I was going with the flow so this was the sprinkles on top of the um, spiced cocoa because the picture is a beautiful cup with a white hot chocolate, you know, with like cinnamony coloured sprinkles on top. And I was like, oh, these are the sprinkles. So that was my inspiration for that. Beautiful little yummy sprinkles on top of the hot, hot chocolate, hot white chocolate which I don't actually like. <laughs> Does anyone like white chocolate? Hot white chocolate? So I'm just turning my brush around and using it to nudge any glitter away from the nail bed because we don't want, don't want it on that part. And then I'm just feathering it the way I want it. Then I'm gonna move things about a little bit. I was trying to get that one off but it was already stuck so I was like, oh well, never mind. Then I'm going to get some tiny beads, take them right up in the wings there. And this, believe it, this is fast forwarded. I did this very slowly. It would have been a lot easier to do 
if I had done it before when I actually applied the white. But sometimes when you're in the design process, when you're not planning and you just go with the flow, you do do things illogically. That's just the way it goes. I hope you've all got your Christmas deck stuff. I haven't done mine yet. Nope. Not yet. Oh, look at that. Right, I'm going to go in and cap. I had a bit of issue. I've never had an issue before, but I had an issue. I don't feel this bead is super dry looking at it at all. I just didn't want to chase it around the nail. So I just worked a little bit drier than normal. Uh, but I, as you can see, I didn't clean my brush off. So I'm still, you know, pushing the monomer into the product. However, I ended up with a ton, like, huge amount of bubbles. Um, I've used glass slippers for for ages from Nails by Annabelle and I've not had this trouble. I just worked with it a little bit drier so that I could form my structure and not have to, you know, chase it around. And for some reason, I mean, I burped my brush. I mean, for some reason I got a ton of air bubbles. So I put this one on wetter how I normally would and um, it was fine. So I'm guessing that, you know, it's, it's better to cap wetter with this it's just I don't like all this bit. I don't like the chasing it around. So I don't know what I did, but for some reason I ended up with a ton of air bubbles and I was really cross with myself. So I changed the design and added uh, a bunch of Swarovskis and stuff just to, you know, take your eye off all the air bubbles. Gutted. I don't show that part. Um on here because I didn't really it, it took time I didn't know what I was going to do I was just going with the flow but that's me capping anyway and I applied the top coat first because I was literally I applied the top coat and then realized there was a lot of bubbles and thought right we need to fix this so if in doubt you either whip some glitter out or some Shrosky crystals out and deal with it I'm just going to make sure I've got enough just up in those wings where the glitter is because obviously I don't want to fly it into the glitter and end up making it all horrible. Yeah, I was so sad about that. I just don't know. It's so frustrating. You might not be able to see them. I could see them with my naked eye. My naked eye. And I was just sad. You probably can see them a little bit. Anyway, here is the finished design after I put some Shrovskis and a little bit of um, art on there. I think it looks beautiful, actually. Absolutely beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!